before I get into the video, I just want to let you guys know I am starting to stream on kick.com. So give me a follow to know when I'm live and come hang out. The link will be down in the description below. Now let's get into the video. Hey everyone, Gucci here and welcome back to another video. Today I bring you the cultus. Don't click away though. This isn't a caster I'm playing. Let me explain. So when playing a cultus, you have the option to not only be a caster or a healer like you're assuming anyway, but the curveball is that you can be a melee DPS as well, which I found completely interesting. So when testing a new class, I get to level 10 and by that time I should know if I like the class or not. And man, I spent the whole morning after uploading my last video leveling this tune to 50 because I loved it that much. When playing the melee spec, or god blade as they call it, you wear plate and your main stat is strength. Now for resources, yes you use mana, but you might notice I have something called insanity in the middle of my screen. I found that you can't just mindlessly play this class as you have to be wary of how much insanity you're building up as well as how much you spend to be able to spend more and so on and so forth. I am completely enthralled with this class as of right now. I think the only thing that would make this class better is, oh, well, never mind. This class is literally perfect as far as checking all the boxes pertaining to being a very viable option at max level. I think the only thing I can think of as of this moment that makes the spec not that great would be if you get locked out of casting something, you're literally locked out of everything since you cast all shadow moves. Some notable abilities are our gap closer, which is a casted death grip basically. You have a ranged kick, abilities to talent into that enhance the damage of your main moves you'll be spamming. You got a priest power word shield basically that you can talent into, a castable fear that you can talent into, a dot that scales with attack power and strength that refreshes on melee crits, you're able to dispel magic and curse effects from yourself and allies. A talentable wall that reduces the next three hits on yourself by 70%. A castable teleport that you can target outside of your line of sight. It not only pops people out of stealth within eight yards of where you teleport to, but it also, if you talent into it, which I did, it increases damage taken on appearing for three seconds by 15%. That's enough to get your Reaving Blade and your Twilight Hammer off for amazing damage, especially if you have Void Runes. Oh, I didn't mention Hammer of Twilight? Well, take a look at your screen. Yeah, it's, uh... It's about to go down. And to top it all off, you have tentacles that have that help you in combat as well as talents to buff them up. This class is beyond insane. I, I believe I'm going to have a lot of fun with this Cultist class for sure. I really found this spec interesting to say the least. I'm going to farm some gear and whatnot on it to see what it's capable of. It says you can dual weld, which I will be testing out, but I'm not sure what's the best setup yet. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day and happy gaming everyone.